Okay, so today we are going to be picking a map. So, um, I've been working on a couple maps over here. Uh, and right now, uh, the door is kind of out of service, so we'll just have to break it down. But anyways, I've been working on some PvP maps. Pretty cool stuff. Check this out. This is pretty cool. So this is the first map. I call it Stone. Um, this is the second map. I call it Sandstone. Uh, this is the third one. I call it Planky. Uh, yeah, I had to add the Y. Um, this is the fourth one. I call it, oh, this is the fourth one. I call it Birch. Uh, this is the fifth one. I call it Grass. And the sixth one, I call it Mr. Gold. So, I think my favorite map is, uh, Mr. Gold. And I definitely want to play it. I hope that everybody else, uh, votes for Mr. Gold. So, I'm gonna vote for Mr. Gold. Uh, there you go. My vote has been cast. And Mr. Gold has one vote right here. That's good. That's good. Uh, I hope by the time the end of the seconds, everybody else votes for the maps that they think are the best. So let's see. Okay. Everybody done voting? Because it's time's up. Awesome. We got Mr. Gold. Just what I wanted. Yeah. So now that the uh, the map has started, I guess we can, you know, play the map. Uh, I think it's a parkour map. It's pretty cool. Um, I think I just won. There you go. Yeah. Pretty sick. I think uh, I'm going to release this map for uh, uh, probably all these maps in separate files for you guys to play. They'll be on their own world. Um, I think it's a challenge, very challenging. So you can challenge yourself to, uh, to complete all these maps and maybe have people vote on which one to play. Okay, so in all seriousness, guys, that was just a joke. Um, but anyways, this is a real thing. Um, it's a voting system, and I'm going to have a nice and clean structure block file for you to download. It doesn't really work in a one command too well because of there's uh, a couple different things you need. Um, but when you install it, you're going to have to uh, go download the file, right? And then you go, and I'm going to show you right here. So the quickest way to access the file is to go to your resource packs. Uh, click open resource packs folder and uh, let me just close that okay um, and then here you are in your resource packs folder so you're going to go back to dot minecraft go to saves and you're going to find your world 1.11 command go into structures and you will click and drag the thing that says like uh cw underscore let's just pretend it says uh we'll just say it says cw underscore map vote okay so you're going to click and drag the file into here then you can close it and then you do give at p structure block. And then you're going to go to load. And you're going to do cw underscore map votes. Okay. And then you're going to click load. And you're going to click load. And it'll load the thing into your world. And there'll be some other things that you can do. Um, oh, yeah. Also, don't forget. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, it, that's, it, that's it. Okay. So um, it's pretty simple how... Well, <laughs> it's actually intermediate um i made this because somebody suggested it uh, i'll have his name down there i forget exactly who um but i'll just for the sake of the fact that i did it i'll try to explain what's going on using my little markers here um but it's kind of complicated and you can just use it in your maps if you want for map votes um i'll Quickly, first off, like just to start so that you guys don't get bored and leave, I will show you how to set up your own maps and alter the maps. Um, so it's pretty simple. All you have to do to set up the own your own map names um, is to go into the stack of command blocks that I will have a yellow wool. Um, yes, a yellow wool right under it. So it'll be a, chain, a thing like this. It'll have yellow wool under it. Uh, or maybe on top of it, and you'll have all these command blocks in here. So these ones, you just have to change the word here to what you want. So we can call it, uh, what was the first one? First one was stony. We'll just, we'll just add a Y at the end <laughs> for fun. And we'll name the one next one Planky. And we'll ne name the next one, uh, what was the next one? Oh, no, this one is Planky. This one is Sandy. Uh, this one can be... Birchy. <laughs> um, this one we'll name uh, oh dirty, <laughs> and this one we'll name Goldie. Okay, okay. So now that will change the names in the sidebar. So when I click this, 
uh, you'll see the name is now Birchy, Dirty, Goldie, Planky, Sandy, Stony. But it still says map 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Um, so for the text, uh, what will happen is players, when they enter the world, or when you click activate one chain of command blocks, it'll be a chain of command blocks, not like this, probably sideways. And it will be labeled, just to give you guys a uh, heads up, it will be labeled... Well, just label it light green, lime green. So there'll be a lime green somewhere around it. And when you power that chain, it'll start the voting process. Um, so what we will do is just, we'll just leave it like this for now. Um, so we'll just discuss what it does later. You don't have to do anything to this to change it unless you want to say change who starts voting. And who is allowed to vote is uh, right... Uh, here at the last one will be scoreboard players tag at a add vote text so you go to the last one and you can change what the at a is it can be um at a in a radius it can be at a in a box radius if you know how to do that um if you want to make it so only certain players in the area or if they have a tag uh but yeah you can you adjust it that way so i'm going to do remove that scoreboard so that i don't see that numbers moving uh so now the last the only other change you have to make is to the letters um so all of the orange is going to be text and you'll see orange and that's where you change the text so this says map vote this is not really important the most important part is these individual things where it says map one uh in green and it says an event and it activates trigger vote set one. So each one is going to be a different vote set one, two, three, four, five, six. That does the six different. You don't need to change that. But in it, you can just change this to what was the first one? Stony. Um, now I made it green. You can change the color of the text if you want. Um, I decided to go ahead and give you guys something here, some additional text that you can get rid of um, that says difficulties. Uh, light green is easy. This is medium. That's hard. I didn't color it correctly, whatever. Um, but these are the these are the different difficulties. So if you want, <laughs> you can change it so there's no difficulties uh, selected, and you can just get rid of that text, which would be this command block right here. You just get rid of the one that says medium, easy, hard, um, or you can just leave it and use the system. So change that to stony. You change these to the different ones you want. So stony, uh, sandy, and then we'll change this one to uh planky and we'll change this one to birchy and we'll change this one to dirty and we'll change this one to goldie so now when i start this up now everything will be changed for me so stony sandy planky birchy dirty goldie it's the birchy dirty goldy planky sandy stony it's not really ordered here because they're out of they're not the same numbers and once you vote uh it will add one to goldie there you go goldie goldie you can make sure they're the same and when the map starts it will teleport you to goldie rest assured um that's it that's how you set up your own thing uh, you have to have this clock running it's going to count down one second each time for the timer if you want to change the amount of timer go to the second to last command block on this stack and you can change how much time they have to vote if you don't even want to do it um well i really suggest you have a timer for voting <laughs> i would just expect that now once the map starts so this is the last thing um this one will be labeled we will make it labeled with uh purple yeah okay so purple will indicate that uh, these are the command blocks that you change for once the game starts. So this is pretty simple. There's um, these different things. Uh, when you see a 1, it means that they've picked option 1, and that's what you do. When you see a 2, that means they've picked option 2, and that's what you do. 3, you pick option 3, and that's what you do. 4, option 4, that's what you do. Blah, 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 blah. This is, um, you can make it do whatever. You can make it set a block, a certain block. You can do whatever. So um, this just activates once the timer is at zero and it figures out what the highest one is and it will do whatever. This is teleporting to me to the area. Um, and then the rest you just leave B. So yeah, that'll remove, this removes the um, scoreboards. So then that's pretty much it for everything. If you want, now this is just one more thing. Um, if you want to get if you want to get rid of one if you only want to do like four um or three or if you want to add one uh so this is moving us into the next part if you're done 
I'll see you later or whatever. Um, but now we're going to go into if you want to add one. So if you want to add one, you have to go over here to, you'll see a cluster of these things kind of like this. So you just copy and paste this, place this here, go down, put map, and then change it to seven, right? So we're going to make one together. So you put one and put it down to seven, right? Uh, then if you want to do this, what you have to do is go over here, right? You're going to see uh, all this text. So you're going to copy, middle click this command block, right? The one at the end of the orange. Middle click the end of the pink and the end of the other pink. So you have three command blocks, right? Then you're going to middle click the fourth one right here and you're going to place it down. And then you're going to put the ones in order just like it. So you can make sure that they're in the same order that they were in, okay? Then you're going to go into here and change this number to seven. And you're going to change this to the name of your new map, which can be Sky E. There you go. That is how you add a new text. So the next part that you need to change is going to be with these command blocks. So these are the dark green. Um, actually, sorry, uh, I'll label these red since I have two dark greens. There you go, dark green. Okay, so these ones are really simple. You just copy this command, place it down, change the number from six to seven, and you're done. There you go, boom, easy. Um, the hardest part is the next ones. So these are, well, we'll, we'll get to those later. Um, the next one is really similar to this one. You have three at the end right here. So you're going to pay, copy the last four command blocks on the blue chain. Um, you're gonna copy the last blue one, and then the three pink ones on the end of the chain, like that. You're going to put another of the blue, the last blue, uh, and there you go. So you have this, it's the same as this one, right? Uh, and then you have three pinks right here and there. Uh, so remove voting, vote. You can just make sure that these are all different. Okay, now we're good, because this is the message that you voted. Okay, so now the last one, guess what? Yet again, easy, change it to seven. This one's a little more involved, change this to seven as well. There you go. Um, now, the very, very last one, well, second to last one, you go to the dark green chain. And for this one, you have to, oh, and uh, let me get rid of these so you're not confused. This one, you're going to have to, I'm gonna make it easier for you to add in the middle. Um, but this one, you're going to have to like, Let's see, middle click this. I'm gonna make it go out like that and then back because you have to make sure that the command blocks are kind of wrapping around. There you go, okay. So now I can, now that there's three, so I can delete one of them. Uh, and then I have a new one to edit. So this one, I'm going to change the six to a seven. There you go. So now we have one that says seven, okay? Then the last one, uh, this is the most complicated one of the all to add. It's on the light green chain. It won't look this ugly, um, but we go there, 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 and there. So you grab the four, the last four, and you go one, two, three, four. Last one, make it conditional, change it to a seven, and then that, now you have to change this one to a seven, and that's it. So you have to change the second one to a seven, and the last one to a seven, and then you'll just be done like that. Um, and then, as then of course, just like with the previous one, um, you can you can this one you don't have to break and move. You can just add this one to the end on the yellow. Uh, this one will just be a seven, and we'll put the name of your map, which is Sky E. <laughs> um, and then of course you would want to, uh, you would want to go like this and put, well, this one you want to copy these last two ones. So on the purple, you just copy the last one and this will allow you to change the teleportation. We'll just make this like 200 and then put these back. There you go. There you go. So that is how you add it. Um, Okay, we're good. So now let me just give you a quick demonstration so you can see that it works. There we go. Okay, there was a slight delay. Um, so Sky E, here's Sky E, and Sky E is the new one, and Sky E is here. So I can vote for Sky E. Sky E has one vote. Scoreboard players, let me just advance the time. Okay, I vote, I advanced the time. Now you're gonna see we're gonna warp into the Sky E. Now let's go to the Sky E. 
And here we are in the sky E, and everything goes away. So that is good. I've never, <laughs> I didn't test adding it, so uh, I was glad that worked out. Um, so as you can see, yeah, that works out. That's how you add it. Now, if you want to remove it, it is literally the same process, just reversed. Um, I'll just go kind of quickly without explaining exactly everything that's going on uh, to remove it. So you grab the last three, and instead you delete that one. Um, and then you put the last three back. So now we only have six, and we have all the same as usual. Uh, and then you delete the last three of the blue, the last four actually. And you delete uh, this one. And then you put these back. And magic. Oh, let me change this. to Make sure that the last one is all sixes, just in case, because you never know uh, when you're breaking things. But this one doesn't matter, because it's, you know, it's the last one. Um, so there we go. And you can always, if, it, if anything goes wrong, you can always just reload the structure file and try again. Um, but it should be pretty straightforward as long as you copy and paste it right. Um, so for this one, this one we just break the last one, this one we break the last four, and this one we break the extras we added. And then this one we break the extra one we added like that. And if we wanted to do more, we could break more. Um, and then this one we break the extra one we added, and there you go. You're done. Okay. Now if you want, now to reduce on entities, you would just go over here and you would do slash kill at e tag equals map seven or whatever one dx equals zero to make sure you don't kill anything if you just want to do armor stand uh type equals armor stand you can do that too there you go it's gone and now we have six maps again goldie dirty blah 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 and all of them work uh as you can see so that's it for this one, guys. I hope that this is useful for you and your maps. I will find it useful. I'll add it to any map that I have multiple maps on. Um, it lets people pick what they want to play. Um, so if you think there needs to be anything added, I can try to add it, maybe. And if you have any other problems or anything, suggestions that are kind of like useful for me too, uh, I'll definitely consider doing videos on them. I don't do this too often anymore. Um, but I do consider doing ones that are really cool. So I thought this was a good idea. Anyways, so other than that, guys, um, I guess thanks for watching. And leave a like if you like these kind of things or if this was useful. Um, new maps coming soon. Uh, I just finished my last college application. So I'll just it won't be too bad for the next few weeks besides some other things I have to do. Um, but other than that, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you all later.